the wild boars try to get into the room and you We are Jonty and Millie, and along with our kids, we look for the amazing wonders of our world, living in Singapore and exploring beyond. Welcome to Wonderlust. Hello everybody, we are here on the Genting Dreamer Resorts World Cruise Ship. Yeah, we have been given um, an experience to come and test out everything that is here. We've been given the palace suite, these fancy little gold uh, <laughs> cards for our duration of the stay. Um, yeah, we've been on here for a little while. We've also been given um, a butler for our stay here. Jules. Called Jules and he is going to show us and you guys around everything that is on this enormous boat. This is huge. It's like a floating city really, isn't it? Yeah, there's so many different restaurant options and there's kids games, there's bowling, there's swimming pools, there's so much to explore. So we are gonna try and get and to do as much as possible as we can in the three days that we've got here. Let's go. So we're following Joel. He's uh, he's already started going with the kids, so we better hurry up. <laughs> If you can hear me, but I'm pretty sure the kids have just gone like boom. They're really, really excited because of everything that's here water play, big loud music. The kids love their music, so I think it's going to be great. We've seen they've got bowling here, um, which is like glow bowling at night. We're going up some stairs now to go and look at some of the slides, which look pretty massive, if I'm honest. Um, we'll uh, maybe send Jonty down those later. Oh, we just come up, there's a giant chess set. So there's loads of things to do for kids here. There's like a high ropes course as well. This looks really, really fun. Um, ping pong tables, little chairs outside, so much stuff to do. We have just been having a little tour of the palace private facilities. And this here is the Palace Guests Private Pool, which is amazing. It's a bit smaller, but it's a lot quieter. And uh, we're looking forward to just having a rest and chilling out here. The kids are already excited about having a night swim. There's a jacuzzi behind me. Just inside, there's a sauna with a view uh, out to sea. Um, there's a steam room as well. So we're just, we're just thrilled. We're very, very grateful and very much looking forward to the rest of our stay here on the Genting Dream. Put the life jacket over your head. We've just had our tour of the, I guess, the entertainment levels, which is pretty awesome. There is so much packed on here. Um, I can't really get my orientation off the boat. We were in one of the exclusive lounges for uh, the palace, which is really nice. Um, but we can just come in here, we can get food and drinks whenever we need, which is nice because the kids always seem to want to eat. So we've just spotted that we're actually moving, which is pretty exciting. So we're going to go and have a look too. Are we moving? Are we moving? With about 15 minutes left before our dinner, we thought this would be a great opportunity to show you around our room. But we're not there right now. And we're at the end of a long tour and we've got no idea where our room is in this giant floating hotel. Uh, so um, bear with us and hopefully we will get you back to hopefully we'll get back to our room hopefully you'll be able to see it in just a few moments so 
So we ended up finding the spa and there's like another cafe there, Asai, which I'm excited about. I love that stuff. Uh, we forgot about the flowers. Jules did tell us about the flowers. If you're following the flowers backwards, you're going towards the back of the ship. Um, so yeah, all of the stuff here are super, super friendly. Uh, so a guy, instead of just telling us where to go left or right, he took us to the right place and we're now following the flowers, um, potentially getting to our room. <laughs> Okay, so lights we're just gonna do a bit of a tour. Uh, just let me <laughs> it's worth trying. I know you love a great room tour and I know that based on like when we stayed in other places and I've toured you around, that you just love the way that I do it. So here it is, this is the front door. And here you'll see a beautiful tag that activates the electricity. And then we're gonna come through to my study area aka Millie's makeup area. Um, I have brought my laptop, so I'm looking forward to uh, writing a blog or two here for you on thewonderlustway.com. This is a suitcase area where we've got our matching North Face bags because we're now slightly dweeby. And uh, obviously if it rains in here, you need one of these because um, it's very important to do that. And sometimes uh, the wild boars try to get into the room and you gotta jab them away just like at Pula Ubin. So, this is the area, you've got some slippers down there, over to the section that I like to call help Jonty function in the morning section. This is where you've got a coffee machine, Kit Kats, also these beautiful trays with cups and saucers, um, and teas and coffees as well. In the mini fridge, here's another fridge, <laughs> is a selection of drinks that we can access as a first time, as a one time only, once these are gone, uh, the next lot get charged to us, which is great. So looking forward to giving the kids some Red Bull in the morning. We are in the washroom now. There is a shower here, which is lovely, and a seat in the shower in case you get tired. And then over to this side, obviously you've got the, sh the, the sinks. Millie and I can brush our teeth at the same time without arguing over um, who gets to spit at what point. And then we've got a bath as well, which is great for our kids who love bath time. In the mirror, have got my beautiful wife. <laughs> Following me through to the main section of the room, there was once a couch here where there is now a bed for the children, which is really, really nice. Aspen is demonstrating how it works. We have the main, uh, the master bedroom area. Um, I'm really, really excited about the fact that there's a curtain that we can draw so the kids are in their own little section, we're in our own little section. For me though, the winning factor of this room, I mean, a bed to sleep in is great and we're not gonna be spending heaps of time here, but the time that we will be spending here, I am so excited that behind you right now is a balcony that looks out to sea. And this really is the perfect sort of getaway for any family really who wants to um, just have an easy, chilled out break because from beginning to arriving here, everything was taken care of. Our passports were looked after, the check-in process was looked after, um, our dinner, all the bookings are done for us. We've got uh, Jules who's just gonna pick us up whenever we're ready and then he'll take us to wherever we need to go. On Jules's recommendation, we have come to the Silk Road restaurant, which is all themed um, beautifully in here. Uh, the decor is all very red and opulent. Um, we're just waiting for our food, which is pretty exciting. Um, there's a big screen, it's got like cooking kind of things on it, which is nice. And I think some of our food, oh no, that's not our food. It's on the way. Yeah, what a place. I'm just, I, my mind is blown that this is just all on a boat. It's bonkers. Goodness me, uh, these scallops have arrived and they are coated in chili. Oh, thank you so much. Wow, fish has arrived too. So I'm gonna have the scallops, although they are coat, like when I say coated in chili, I mean like they're covered in chilies. I'm a bit nervous about how much chilies on this, but let's go for it. This could be delicious or comedy or a bit of both. Very warm, but so fresh. It's got like um, a lime to it. The scallop is like cooked beautifully, soft, not chewy at all. 
That's amazing. Millie will like that. She'll have to take off a lot of the chilli. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's a lot of chilli. I'll just have the skin. I'm gonna um, some scrape tea. off some chilli. <laughs> Is that enough? It's really spicy, but very tasty. Ooh. That is really nice. The, um, the fish is tasty, really tasty, but the sauce is mild and quite light, but gives it so much depth, it's amazing. Oh, this is this is delicious. Oh, no, it's a rib. It's not chicken wings, it's ribs. All the staff that we've met have been super, super friendly. They've all made a fuss of the kids as well, which is nice, saying have the best time, enjoy, um, going out of their way to show you where things are, help you out. Um, gentleman just came over and said, shall I prepare your dessert now? And we said, yes, please, because we've got the show. And he was like, great, we'll get straight onto it. So everything is made to just make things super, super easy. And what's great about it, actually, is that like, for us, this is a huge treat. This is not, never anything that we would have dreamed of doing ourselves. And, just something that you know we're so grateful to you for watching our channel and that's given us this opportunity to be able to come out here and do this but it feels like it is this amazing opportunity and this magical experience with the way that everybody's <laughs> treating us yeah i love it so cool <laughs> molly just asked for a toothpick and they said yeah <laughs> this is exactly what i need after a stupid amount of food uh is like a nice light chung chung and a nice warm one as well get me ready for this show that we're about to go to Guests. Here's only for our palace guests. Okay. Exclusive for you only, guys. Yeah. So we've been rushed out of dinner, um, just around the corner through a very exclusive tunnel, essentially, to get us to these amazing seats uh, right in front um, at the theatre, where we're going to see an aerial acrobatic show in this beautiful little theatre. It's absolutely incredible. I can't quite believe that we're on the ship. I know Millie mentioned it earlier, but um, yeah, absolutely amazing. We're really, really looking forward to this show too. <laughs> show and it was incredible it was 45 minutes of like action-packed dancing acrobats like walking on wires um, they had these giant balls they were dancing with and then threw them into the audience yeah, which was, was like funny chaos the kids loved it just yeah like, my favorite bit was looking it. over at Aspen and seeing her so into the show her eyes wide open uh, her mouth wide open and smiling as well, which is which is excellent. Yeah, really talented. The entrance of the show is actually right next to our restaurant here, Silk Road, where we had dinner tonight, which is absolutely delicious. Yeah, and it was great to be able to having this like uh, great to be able to have this little um, kind of secret back alley into our yeah it into was our nice. seats. It was really cool. Felt very well looked after. Indeed, and um, yeah, now we go to a room. Oh, at the end of the show, they've got the Dream Boys here, which are like. 18 only. Chippendales. Yeah. And um, at the end, the guy that came out was like, and now we've got a bit of a teaser of the Dream Boys. And suddenly <laughs> all the parents in the room looked really, really nervous. Like, oh. <laughs> Like looked at each other's like what well, but thankfully they kind of kept it PG. Yeah. But um Didn't but, yeah, see any we were worms. slightly cautious <laughs> about what was about to happen next. But it was, um, good. It was funny, yeah. The kids thought it was hilarious. But it's ten past ten. Um the party's still going on here. I yeah. think pretty much all night there's a casino here, there's another late night musician musician magician show. Yeah. Um yeah, casinos, who knows what else is on this ship that we haven't discovered yet, but we are ready for bed. <laughs> ten o'clock. So we will see you in the morning when we have more food. Oh my yeah. goodness. A day of five meals tomorrow, so see how we go. There was a free like workout thing that you're entitled to with the gold thing, but it's at 9 a.m. and I thought, mm, nah. <laughs> so yeah, night. Good night.
Good morning. Hello. We are out at sea uh, and have been for the last, uh, I don't know, 12, 15 hours. It is morning time, it's about 8am. We have woken up to the most beautiful view. Yeah, it is lovely. And I slept really well, that bed I'm is so comfy. You. You're oh. the most beautiful view. Thanks. <laughs> and also out the window you can see the sea. <laughs> You can. I slept really well. That bed was super, super comfy. You just kind of sink into it, which mm. was nice. And the kids fell asleep after a little bit of giggling. Yeah, they giggled. Nice. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was quite nice. Yeah, really lovely. Slept really well. You can temperature control like your own cabin, which was really nice. Because sometimes, well, I was worried it was might be cold because some places like to blast the AC. But actually, the temperature on the whole boat has been quite nice, which yes. is lovely. And it's nice out here this morning. Breezy. I um, just had a couple of thunderstorms in the night. Did oh, you hear that? No. Oh. Slept through them. I did. So yeah. we are about to go and head off for breakfast. Um, it does seem like there's five meals today. Breakfast, lunch, high tea, dinner and supper. Um, so we'll show you some of that as we go along. It's not going to be a whole food thing. There's other stuff that we're going to get up to today. And we're looking forward to bringing you guys along on the journey too. Yeah, let's go get some food. come down for breakfast, managed to make it here without getting lost this time. We're right by the window, the kids are sitting behind us on their own seat. Um, and it's such a nice view, we've just got like trees and the sea. Yeah, lovely. And now we're going to go and see uh, what food options there are. I saw the list, it's quite long. Staff were incredibly friendly. Um, Aspen brought her toy dog to breakfast and uh, they ended up giving it a chair and uh, making a real fuss over her and the, the toy as well. Um, we're gonna go and look to see if we can find the kids club. Apparently we can check the kids in, which would be amazing. So we're gonna go and see whether we can do that um, for as long as possible. We have just said goodbye to our kids, which is lovely. Well, they didn't say goodbye Well, they, they just left us. <laughs> um, so it does, it seems like we, we let our kids go, but actually they just ran off <laughs> into the play area without saying goodbye. Um, and we've got a couple of hours just to enjoy um, for ourselves. We're right at the front where the captains are behind us, um, which is really nice. And uh, in this little room, there are displays telling us all the accolades of our captains, as well as um, a model of our ship, which is amazing. So yeah, cool we're able to, to spot where we are now, where our bedroom is, um, and all the different places we'll be exploring. It is like a mini city um, <laughs> on, on the water, which is really cool. Yeah, so I think we're just going to spend a bit more time walking around. I feel like we need to walk because our whole day has been planned out. It seems to be around eating, like, which I'm not complaining about. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're going to go and do a bit more exercise. Can we really call it that? <laughs> Although we did walk past the gym, if that counts. <laughs> So we've now docked at Port Klang. Um, I think we're here for a few hours. Some people might be getting off, going around, um, and then coming back onto the boat when we set off later on. Uh, yeah, kids are in the kids club. They do have other things that the kids can do. I think he said it was $50 um, per person, and they can like dress up as butlers or captains um, and do lots of different activities. They can make, there's like cake baking, different kind of crafts and things. But our day is already planned out, so we didn't really have time for that. But the kids were quite keen to go off into the kids' club. There was a few other children there that they quickly talked to. I think there was a games console and movies, loads of little toys for them to play with. So it's nice that they get to have their own time and we can just chill for a little bit. We were pretty keen on trying out the high ropes course, yeah. but because it rained earlier, it's not open until a bit later. But because we said we need to burn off some energy, <laughs> crazy golf it is and there's this crazy golf uh, course here which will be fun uh, while the kids have their playtime. Yeah, okay. Hit the ball into the hole. Look 
Luca. Oh no, the clothes wet. <laughs> It's currently 18. 18 to me. And 19 to me. So we're one, there's only one in it. And I think there's this one, is a hole in one, two, three holes three, left. Three, four holes left. Okay. This is my hole in one. It's all to be, all to be one now. Who do you think is going to win? Put it in the comments below. <laughs> Don't skip ahead and then cheat. <laughs> Three. Oh no. Oh, 23 all. 23, 23. <laughs> She's caught up. She's caught up. Okay. <gasps> okay, we're on the last hole now. I'm on 28 shots, Millie's on 29. It's all to be played for now. Who's gonna win? It's pretty close. Okay, hang on. Way. I wanted to win. <laughs> I won because if I won, it would, it would have been a, it would have been a grumpy time for this one. If I lost, I would have felt hard done by. But it's a draw, so it's all good. <laughs> we've still got about 20 minutes of free time before we have to go get the kids, so we're going to play some ping pong. Attempt. I suck at it. <laughs> On. Kids can watch a movie. Uh, the, lots of the toys are catered, I guess, quite younger. Um, R2 still seems to know it, and Milo has found himself um, a Nintendo Switch to play on. And then the kids have got this beautiful view of everything outside, which is pretty nice too. Oh, yeah, nice. Hello, 80. We've come to the bistro for lunch, uh, really, really lovely. We've also got a window viewing um, seat, which is great. Um, yeah, the menu is great. Again, with our palace, everything is kind of um, set out for us with a starter and an appetizer. Um, I am feeling hungry again. I made sure that I had a small breakfast because I had a feeling that lunch was going to be um, quite long. So yeah, I'm looking forward to what's coming. <laughs> Ooh, buddy. Thank you. So tasty. Even when they put it down, it's a Caesar salad, but you could smell it. It smelled amazing. So, and um, little um, croutons as well. Beautiful. Oh, so nice. Next up we've got a soup um, with a chowder. I should have retained more of what the menu was, but I heard steak. Um, I'm very excited about that. It's one of my favorite things to eat. Really nice, really creamy. There's nice big chunks in it as well. And um, we've got some sourdough bread we've been given to dip into it. This whole experience is really lovely. And it's like new for the kids. We keep saying, slow down. You don't, normally when we eat, we just like, we eat because we need, we're hungry. But this is like, we can chill and take everything in, which is good. <laughs> 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 What's 
that's quite nice as though when we were given our appetizer and starter, the kids were given their main and now we're eating our main and they're giving up their dessert. So we're kind of all eating at the same time, which is nice. But I am very excited about the steak. Steak is one of my favorite things to eat. So. Goodness, this dessert is just divine. Have a look. It's like a brownie, fudgy, brownie, cakey, soft, moist, light. We've had those different courses, but the food isn't too rich, which is nice. So you, I don't feel too overly stuffed and I'm like overly sickly, so you can really enjoy everything, which is really nice. He's, he's busy. <laughs> I'm full uh, and to think that our next meal is about three and a half hours away is a bit much to be honest. <laughs> yeah, if you're into your food, I think a cruise is perfect mm. um, and especially this package because you can just continue eating and yeah. eating <laughs> and eating and eating some more. There's like a whole other place we can get snacks from apparently, but I don't know where that is we and I don't even, even needed need to think about it. Uh, any snacks either. But yeah, that was a really nice experience. And to be honest, the three and a half hours, let's, 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 be, let's be clear, I, I'm going to be ready for more food, but right at this moment, I feel quite full. Yeah, the portions are really nice actually. I don't feel overly full. No, no. Uh, maybe I feel slightly overly full. <laughs> you ate a big breakfast as well. I had a big breakfast. But we're going to try and uh, expand some of our energy and maybe uh, loosen off that waistline a little bit <laughs> uh, at the pool in a short while. So we're going to go get ourselves ready and explore all the different activities in the wet. Yeah, let's go. I've uh, lay down on the bed for about half a minute while Millie was getting ready and immediately regretted it. I feel very tired. So I had a little coffee. The kids are very excited. They've already got their goggles on and we are going to go and enjoy all the outdoor things that are here. Spicy jacuzzi, which is uh, got your spices and spoons and whatnot. But we're having a great time, and these slides open in five minutes. Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! How was it? Five. Yeah, give me five. Woo. Great job! Oh. Woohoo! You want to go again? Yeah. <laughs> the rain has come down and uh, people seem to be clearing off, which is really interesting because um, we're already wet and there's no thunder warnings or anything like that. So we're just going to stick at it. I just wanted to pause and show you this beautiful view. Um, I'm about to head down and meet Millie and Aspen because Milo just wants to keep going on those slides. But um, check out this view, it's just stunning. I feel like perhaps you're not getting the justice that you need on that view but trust me it's beautiful okay i'm gonna go and see if i can find my wife and daughter help me help you what thank you oh hello oh, daddy yeah what <laughs> Kids are super hungry after playing around in the water, which is amazing because they ate an incredible amount for lunch and breakfast. There's a great selection of um, sandwiches and cakes, so I'm going to have some savoury stuff. So I'm going to start with the croque monsieur, which is this toasted sandwich. Looks great. <laughs> mm. That was really nice. That was surprisingly nice because I only saw the cucumber on the inside. When you put it in your mouth, you can taste the smoked salmon as well. So it's absolutely delicious and a great surprise. There's a lot more to eat. And um, if I talk to you throughout the whole thing, it's gonna take forever. So I'm gonna stop here. Um, you can just check out um, all the images that we've had of all the food here while I enjoy my food. Me again, um, I had to just show you this uh, lobster 
tart. It's just beautiful. Check it out. One of the prettiest things I've ever seen. I'd imagine it's one of the tastiest things I've ever had as well. So here we go. Mm. So the lobster is really fresh, really sweet, and then there's like a, a crunchy edge to it as well, which is really, really good. Oh. Millie's just realised how non-English our kids are when the scones came out and one child over here demolished it um, and ripped it apart, <laughs> ate all the little crumbs and the other one tried to just bite into it like a cake. Um, but to be honest, I'm an absolute fan of this scone. Um, Millie and I were just discussing the age-old argument nearly as uh, big as what came first, the chicken or the egg. Um, is the clotted cream below or the jam on below. Um, I'm a clotted cream first, jam on top sort of guy. And um, because I know what's good for me, Millie thinks it's the other way around. Put your opinions in the comments below. What's the far fastest, what's the fastest cake in the world? I don't know. Scone. Where's it scone? <laughs> scone where? In his belly. <laughs> In my brain. <laughs> that was really, really lovely. Um, as with all of the other food that we've mentioned here, like it's not too sweet, it's not too rich, so you can't actually enjoy it, which is great. So we are going to head back to the room for a little while before our uh, party kicks off at about 5.30. Um, yeah, we're just going to chill out in the room. I've got a book that I need to finish reading as well. So we're going to go and do that for a little while, let our food settle and then um, enjoy more of what this cruise ship has to offer and yeah we're still we're still docked um, and then we'll move on again later which is great and again I haven't really felt like I've been like moving on a boat Milo was a little bit worried because he often gets a bit um, seasick but we haven't felt any of that which has been great so we're fully enjoying everything here yeah what an experience Okay, I haven't been to a phone party since I was at university uh, and I'm sure this one will be very different. So we're just heading in now um, and the kids are very excited. This sky behind is so beautiful. We're at the back of the ship now. Um, there's a huge glass window uh, for some of the other restaurants. And then this beautiful view. What an amazing place to have our last dinner here on this boat with all of this. Um, and we'll be setting off real soon so we get to feel and see and experience all of that as well while we enjoy our hot pot. My favorite thing about the holiday has been today at the slide and stuff <laughs> and the phone party. <laughs> And we're off again and you can see um, everything's kind of just moving slowly and calmly behind us. It's a bit surreal because you don't feel like you're moving but everything around you is turning, um, which is great. So, yep, yeah, we're off. Um, food is nearly ready for us to tuck into a delicious dinner as well. For those of you unfamiliar with hot pot, it is basically where you have a hot pot of broth in the middle of the table and around the outside you've got all these different meats, seafood, vegetables that you want to cook and you put them into the hot pot, let them boil up and then you take them out when you're ready to eat. It's the best family food ever. It's the sort that you just kind of take your time, chat over, dropping stuff into the pot and, uh, and it's so much fun as well as being delicious so we're really really looking forward to this. Such a treat. This is all just so delicious from the beef to the pork to the fish to the prawns to the scallops 
loving it. This is so, so good. And we were able to take our time as well, which is great too. <laughs> definitely left more veggies than the rest of the stuff but we managed to eat an awful lot of food and we're gonna go and burn it all off having a night swim now so if I can make my way there I could probably fall asleep here if I'm honest I don't think there's gonna be much swimming from me <laughs> that was really really delicious really good fresh yeah well, so as we said, we're going to take our time to relax in this pool. This pool shuts at 10 o'clock. This is the Palace Pool. This is an exclusive pool just for those who are part of the package, uh, the package deal of the Palace. And we are the only ones in this pool. <laughs> yes, it's pretty the other one was busy, so it's a lot more chill here. Um, and the pool's a lot deeper, as Aspen's <laughs> just found out. <laughs> <laughs> Are you blowing yourself up with air? Milo's managed to inflate his own shoulders <laughs> by putting his face in his right here. <laughs> <laughs> Amazingly, there is no one else here in the palace pool and it really does feel exclusive at the moment, which is amazing. There's a lot of other stuff that happens at night time that we haven't been able to show you. Um, in a couple of moments, we're going to just take to the saltwater jacuzzis that are right at the front of the boat and you can look out front. I think, I mean, it's night time, so there's only so much we're going to be able to see now, but hopefully the experience itself is going to be beautiful. We're going to take you with us in just a moment. This is a lovely way to finish our amazing day. It's felt like a really long day. We've done quite a lot. I've um, experienced all the pools, the slides, the food. Wow, it's been really lovely. So it's nice to sit in this warm hot tub and uh, under the night sky. It's lovely. Good morning. Um, according to Google Maps, we are approaching Singapore Island from the south with the islands to my right here um, are some of the Indonesian islands south of Singapore. Wow, that was an amazing night's sleep and that bed was so comfy. Um, I think we're going to have to upgrade our mattress at home. <laughs> um, yeah, so we've just got a couple of hours left on board now. We're going to be having some breakfast and um, and then packing up our things and heading off. It has been an incredible stay, um, but we're not going to wish away the last two hours. It's incredibly peaceful out here on the balcony, just hearing the waves below, just churning up as, as we pass. And um, yeah, it's, it's awesome. I'm going to try and savour this view for a little bit longer before we head down for breakfast. As if I wasn't full enough from the last two days of eating, I've gone for a full English breakfast and probably will go back for some more actually. Um, so we are thoroughly enjoying our last couple of hours here on the Genting Dream. We are back in Singapore. We've just docked. We are still soaking up a couple more minutes um, on yeah. this cruise. The whole thing has been amazing. They call the palace, what is it, a cruise within a cruise. And it felt totally exclusive. We felt like six star, yeah. like smash the five stars, six star treatment. The whole way from everybody, Aspen was carrying a dog around with her. And like all <laughs> the staff were making a fuss of it. Even got her a baby high chair for it when she asked and like, cups and stuff for the dog but they all made a fuss of the kids so that made it feel really special for all of us which yeah yeah i love that they call it the palace because i definitely felt like royalty mm -hmm. uh, on this trip been really really well looked after particularly by our um our butler jules uh he's awesome <laughs> really really great guy as well and um it's really special and we're really really grateful to resorts world we hope that you our viewers have really really enjoyed uh experiencing this uh two and a bit days with us as well
as always thanks for watching do comment subscribe share um, we love to hear all of your comments and questions just keep them coming we like to hear from you guys any new things coming up in Singapore we always appreciate to hear we're over on Instagram as well so do share other things to do um, we're always on the lookout for more things to do in Singapore we've got quite a long list already it's not that we're running out of stuff but we we can't keep up with everything so do share if you see things coming up I'll see you soon bye Thank you.